Hello dear learners, you are most welcome to our channel. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the detailed analysis of daffodils by William West West. The poem Daffodils, also known by its title, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, is a lyrical poem written by William Westworth in 1804. He is a poet who believes in conveying simple and creative expressions through his poems using elements of nature. Daffodils was written on a stormy day in spring whilst walking along with his sister near the Lake District of Northern England, an area which is famous for its hundreds of lakes, gorgeous springtime daffodils and home of William Westworth. Let's now take a detailed analysis of the lines contained in the poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that falls on hills over vales and hills. Here, our poetic speaker opens the poem with a tone of sadness. He describes how he walked around and felt lonely as a cloud. He uses a much more descriptive word, wandered, to mean roaming around without a purpose or without any sense of direction. As more likely, the speaker is projecting his own loneliness on the cloud, but this still doesn't explain the strange image because clouds usually travel in groups. There are a series of questions we are hoping the poem will help us answer after this mysterious beginning. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. All at once, the speaker sees a group of daffodil flowers. We tend to think of daffodils as yellow, but he uses a more majestic sounding, golden. He also did call them a crowd. He further elaborates on crowds by adding the noun host. A crowd is associated with people, while host is associated with angels. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Here, he sees the daffodils beside a lake and underneath some trees. It's a stormy day and the clouds are fluttering and dancing on their stems. However, dancing is something that usually only humans do. Therefore, daffodils are given qualities of humans. Continues as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. This line hammers on the point that there are a whole lot of daffodils, more daffodils than he has ever seen before. The daffodils stretch continuously without a break like the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. They stretch in never-ending lines along the margin of a bay. Here, our poetic persona tells us that like the Milky Way galaxy, the daffodils are roughly concentrated in a line that seems to stretch as far as the eyes can see since it's never ending. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The speaker takes notes of ten thousand dancing flowers at once. That's a lot of daffodils. The word sprightly means happily. The word derives from sprite, which refers to a playful little spirit that people once thought existed. Sprites are supernatural beings almost like fairies. The waves beside them dance, but they outdid the sprightly waves in glee. Here, we are told that the waves of the lake 
also dance in the breeze, but the daffodils seemed happier than the waves. The entire scene has suddenly been invented into a joyful human-like presence, since waves did not bring as much joy as the daffodils did. The flowers outdid the water with their happiness. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. Despite his earlier loneliness, our speaker re-enters the poem and refers to himself as the poet who can't help but feel extremely excited and carefree company to hang out with. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. Here, the repetition of gaze tell us that he kept looking at the flowers for a long time until he got carried away. Our poetic speaker doesn't realize exactly how great a gift he has just received with his vision. For often, when on my couch, I lie in vacant or in pensive mood. Here, our poetic speaker has come to fully appreciate the importance of the daffodils he has seen some time ago. We are taken into the future and westward and describing a habitual action of him sitting in his couch. Sometimes his mind is empty and vacant, while at other times he feels pensive, which means sad and blue. However, you can't be both vacant and pensive at the same time. He grooves the two experiences together because both are completely unpleasant and dissatisfying. They flash upon the inward eyes, which is the bliss of solitude. Whenever our poetic speaker is sad and blue, the images of daffodils flash through his mind. The inward eyes expresses what Westward felt to be a deeper spiritual vision which cannot be shared with others. So it is a form of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. When the memories of the daffodils flash into his head, he feels happy again. It's almost like the first time he was wandering through the nature at the beginning of the point. Since the real daffodil is capable of pushing away his loneliness, then the memories of daffodil is good as the real one. Thanks for watching today's video. Do enjoy the rest of our videos and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.